I want to show you some absolutely incredible hitting by this player right here, uh, Alfie Hewitt. He's actually the current number two player in the world in wheelchair tennis. And by the way, this video is courtesy of Court Level Tennis, so make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. Look at this backhand right here. Uh, absolutely incredible. So what's amazing right here is the grip that he's using. So he's actually using a grip that's a little between an Eastern forehand and a Continental. And what that means is he is placing the base knuckle of his index finger and his heel pad in between these two bevels, bevel two and bevel three. He's got the, he the knuckle and the heel pad on that corner. Now, at this point right here, you might be thinking, oh, he's going to hit a slice, right? And his strings are facing up and he's going to, you know, come around and hit and he's going to slice the backhand. Now, I know very little <laughs> about wheelchair tennis and wheelchair tennis technique, but when I first saw this, I was like, oh, he's just going to hit a slice, but he's actually going to use the strings that are facing down and he swings you know, low to high, spinning this ball with topspin. And you notice when he's contacting the ball, his palm is facing his opponent, who's actually a Frenchman and currently the number five player in the world. And he hits the ball with his palm facing forward. You would almost think that he's going to maybe slice this ball. I don't know. If you're a wheelchair tennis player, please, in the comments below, let me know. Do players often use the same grip? and either hit on the top side of the strings in order to hit slice, or do what Alfie's doing here with the strings on the bottom, you know, the strings that are facing down for hitting topspin. It's absolutely incredible. If we look at it here, watch what he does with his left hand. Notice how he braces the chair so that the chair doesn't spin, whether going this way or this way. The chair does not spin, and he tries to keep the chair very stable. This is what you'll see with with like Roger Federer, where, you know, they'll keep their chest to the side, keeping the string, I'm sorry, the chest facing sideways. And it actually is an accelerant. It allows their racket to track out toward the target longer and make, makes them more consistent. And then what's really cool is the move that he's making here, where his strings are presenting themselves to the ball, that's actually pronation. And then after he hits, he actually supinates. And now his palm is facing up. It's absolutely incredible. Now, Let's look at this for him. Now, obviously, in order to get to the ball, they're going to be using their hands on the wheel, right? Now, watch what happens right there. See that grip change? Once he sees it's a forehand, look how he changes his grip. Let's look at what grip he uses. Um, yeah, he looks to be... Oh, this is interesting. It's not a full, full semi-western. It might be a full semi-western, but it looks to me... Like the grip that he uses, yeah, it's, I, I would say it's basically semi-Western. It seems to be high up on a semi-Western. Let me show you what that looks like. To me, it looks like he's putting the base knuckle of his index finger and his heel pad high up on panel four. Remember, as a right-hander, this is panel one, panel two, panel three, and panel four. So it looks like he's high up on panel number four. So he's got the base knuckle and the heel pad, and it looks like they're up here. You know, this would obviously be low on panel number four, but it looks to me like he's pretty high up on panel number four, still considered a semi-Western grip. So he gets into position. Now, because his hand has to be on the wheel in order to position himself into, you know, the right spot to make contact with the ball, he's not going to have his hand way up here. You look at Medvedev or Milos Raonic, and they have an incredibly high turn. Well, since his hand has to be on the wheel, in order the wheels in order to adjust the chair, his hand is going to be low in position. Now, you can see that the racket head is higher than his hand, and we can see his grip change occur where he spreads that, that trigger finger. Yeah, look at that trigger finger. This is incredible to just diagram this. I'm kind of doing this, you know, real time off the top of my head as I'm looking at this. But he, he extends the trigger finger, which is the space between the index finger and middle finger. And that helps his knuckle and heel pad be on, this, on the correct spot. But I want you to notice what his chair does. Look at this right here. This, was, this is kind of like getting into a semi-open stance where your 
hips are facing basically the net post right here. But I want you to notice as he's doing that where his chest is facing. What he's doing with the chair is he's rotating the chair kind of toward the target as he keeps his chest facing to the right. That produces a coiling effect where the shoulders are turned more than the hips. And that produces a, a coiling effect in the, in the back. And that's stored up energy that he's then going to unleash into the shot. And watch this. Look what he does. There's that pre-stretch in the forearm. Incredible pre-stretch. And that's what you see with Fetter, where you got the butt cap pointing at the ball. I mean, it's a beautiful lag forehand. Absolutely incredible. You can see his non-hitting hand rising. This is what you see Dominic Team do, and you see Diego Schwartzman. You see most of the pros do this, where their non-hitting hand is rising as they're going to contact. The contact is quite high on him, and so he's you know swinging up but putting topspin on the ball. Absolutely incredible. Here's that same, man, here's that same backhand. It's almost like he's hitting a forehand. It's almost like a... um like a topspin serve where the palm is facing the target and he's swinging up the back of the ball, man, with, with his strings facing the target, but same as the palm. It's, it's not a backhand where the back of the hand is facing the target like a two-handed backhand. It's, it's, it's his palm facing the target. Absolutely incredible. I mean, I, I, I'm just amazed at the movements and the precision that has to occur in order to move the chair into the right spot. You see him turn, get the chair into a semi-open stance. Absolutely incredible. It's unbelievable what these men and women do uh, and the skill that they possess in order to play at such a high level. Now, the best way to practice these techniques is at home with a Topspin Pro. You can get a Topspin Pro using my link in the description. I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. I absolutely love the Topspin Pro, and I know you will too. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play against, practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who's going to help you with your game, then use my link in the description for Play Your Court. And it's playyourcourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. In the description, I'm going to have the link from Court Level Tennis of this video. And I want you to just watch it. You'll be absolutely amazed by the skill that they possess. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.